Greetings, great people. I'm so happy to be able to come back to you today. Thank you for always sharing. Thank you for always subscribing. Thank you for always encouraging us and telling us to keep moving on. You're the energy that keeps us going. And today we're going to talk about who you are, who you are in yourself and who you are. And I would love to remind you that you are like a pencil. At least if I use something that you relate with or something that you can compare yourself with, I want to believe now you can be able not to understand yourself more. Yes, you are like a pencil. Welcome to Abundance First Day, and this is another episode. Yes, just to remind you for who you are. Everyone of us have used a pencil, and as you use a pencil, you realize that there are other items that accompany the pencil. One of them is the sharpener. We have the paper. We have the eraser. Life is no less compared to these items or materials. And today, I just want to remind you for who you are compared to you, to these materials that accompany you, to these things that accompany you in this life. And uh, just as a, as a confirmation, for a pencil to work, it has to be held in hard. And at this point, I would want to ask you, ask yourself, in whose hand am I? Yes, the hand that you are in is the hand that will control you. So you as a beautiful and great pencil you are, you'd rather be in great hands. And the best of the hands to be in is to be in the hands of God or to be, in, to be in the hands of God, controlled by great mentors in this world, controlled by great parents, and controlled by people who really will direct you as it's supposed to be. So as the, as the pencil you are, please choose the hands in whose you're going to be in. Uh, just to remind you, just like a pencil, the way it's, it's usually sometimes blank and new and all beautiful, we were all blank. We were all born blank, ready and just clean with a clean mind. Everything is so new, just like a new pencil. That the you were born into this world, all new, all bright, all so attractive. You have a fresh mind, you have a fresh heart. Everything is in, in you is just so fresh. It's so beautiful. It's all, when you look at a kid in Africa, in, in the West or wherever, they all look almost alike. They all, they're all always so sweet, so cute, so brownish, and um, just so beautiful. And they're just blank, blight, and just empty, ready to be written and to be directed. And they're so vulnerable, just like you when you were born. And the initial sharpener words, gets into you, and this is done by your parents. Then later you get the teachers. Later you meet uh, the friends. And uh, if, uh, as some, as, as, as the, the people who lived before us said, if you're not well taught by your parents or the teachers, the world is waiting, you, you're waiting for you and it will teach you. And when you're being taught by the world, it is quite difficult. As the Puzo and Mamai, so if this initial sharpener does a good work on you, Ulimweku will not have no space to, to, to teach you or to sharpen you. And as parents, if this is a good opportunity when you get that kid, God has entrusted you with that beautiful kid, that you write the best of the things that they can experience. And when once you teach them the right things, when they grow old, they will never depart from them. So as parents, this is a good. Uh, this is a. It, it's a huge assignment, and we take it. We take it with the seriousness it deserves. Then you'll have great people, and you as an individual. Yes, you are where you are. You are born, and uh, the initial sharpen work on you, and you're already in the world. Uh, what we need to admit is that your mind is uh, becomes now the deal pencil. And, and we need to appreciate that everything happens that happens within you, allowed you, and in you. 
it happens for a reason and a purpose. And once we appreciate that, when we get that into our mind, we are able not to appreciate the reasons and the seasons in our life, and we get to draw the purpose for which now those reasons happened. And in our, as a human mind, we need to live a selfless life. That is, we're able to serve someone else or some, serve others without expecting anything in return. You're not expecting anything in return. So this will, uh, you, you, when you do this, you build trust, you're able to overcome hearts, you're able to forgive, and relationships are able to grow. Your relationship with others is able to grow and you become a better person. Yes, never neglect anything that is allowed you. Appreciate what is allowed you and what you have. Not all the time that you get all the opportunities that you have. And once we, we get to, to have our mind turn that everything happens for a reason and a season, we appreciate it and we're able to grow all the time. Yes, as I've told you, sharpening will happen. For you, for as a pencil, as as a as a pencil, new as it, it has to be sharpened. And you've seen that the initial period, period are the ones who will sharpen you. And the sharpening process is, is quite difficult and then painful, but it has to happen for you to remain sharp. Yes, just like this pencil, you'll have to do a you'll have to be pruned, you have to be to do away with some some things. For you to remain sharper and for you to remain sharpened. Yes, for human, what will sharpen you is the books you read, the people you interact with, and also the things that you do. And they say iron sharpens iron. So look for fellow human beings so that they can sharpen you. Share experiences, share stories, and especially for people that for where you want to go, and you'll be kept. Keep sharpening all the time. Yes, in our effort to get sharpened and uh, we get our character developed, it's always wise because uh, everything around you will act like your sharpener that you choose your character develop. Yes, the sharpeners are on different shapes and sizes and roots, but choose your character developers very carefully. And some of the character developers or the sharpeners or the people who can sharpen you, one of the people that you need to look and pick very carefully are your mentors. The mentors are the people who are already ahead of where you want to go. Choose them carefully and make sure at least you are able to keep tabs with them. And uh, for people who where they, they lack mentors, they may lose, they will lose direction. So look for mentors. If you don't have one, Intentionally look for one. And if you, even if you don't have one, look up to your parents if they are, they are heading in the right direction. And in this way, you are, you're very sure that you'll be get the guidance that you need and you'll be able to learn what maybe you need to avoid and the pitfalls you need to avoid and you'll be able to keep focused. The mentors will also be able to encourage you and show you the right way to do the right things. Yes, some of the mentors are so great, they will have told you to get to what you're going. Then the other character developer you need to look at is your age mates. Those people that you are, you are on the same age, those people that you are the same station. You need at least to look for people who are within your own, you are your own start, uh, same situation or the people you are in with, you are with and the same age. These ones you don't even have to choose. They are people that are within your level. These are the people, you look for the right people so that you're able to form your network and you're able now to encourage each other and form healthy competitions. And you're able to keep each other moving and keep each other accountable. In these people, at least your age mate, you're able now to keep lifting each other in spirit and, and, and in, in the psych uh, psychologically, physically, and in other ways that you can keep each other into tab. You are able even to have that healthy competition such that you're able to measure the steps that you're taking. And please don't fall into the temptations of getting to comparison. Yes, after you have this, these people, you also need to look for young people who are looking up to you, that you're able to, 
Like share your lessons after you've learned from the mentors, after after you've worked it together with your with your age mate, now you can you can have the young people that you're able to share. That's what you've been able to, to get. You pay forward. You share with them and you know, show them the way. This way, when you're able to choose that and you're able to choose your mentor, you have your age mate, even if it's one or two, and you have a young person that you're mentoring, you're sure to develop a balanced life. Yes, these people does not mean that they'll not hurt you, they'll hurt you, they'll sharpen you, but you have to keep moving. Yes, to function optimally and to you have to keep experiencing. I have to get to keep sharpening, and in sharpening, you experience pain. But you have to learn to manage your pain and manage it accordingly. Yes, because you can't keep learning from those who are helping you to develop your character. Yeah, we also realize that when the pencil, a pencil is accompanied by a labor or the eraser, these ones are there to correct any mistake. So it's you realize that a pencil will have this, the eraser. This one is when you made that mistake while you're drawing or when you do and do when the pencil is hard. Yes, the mistake can be corrected. Nothing is permanent and nothing cannot be collected. Yes, you as a person, as a pencil that you are, you need to remain humble and accept mistakes when they happen. And once you accept those mistakes as they happen, accept, you know, say sorry, and accept to be molded in a way that you start moving in the right direction. Yes, as the rubber accepts, sometimes you lose part of you know, as it, as you erase, the eraser leaves part of it. It's it, a part of a part of it, and it it gets away. Yes, accept. You lose some part of your ego. You lose some pride, and you lose the bad behaviors as you you get to erase and correct the mistakes. But be be ready to be advisable and teachable, and accept accept take mistake and accept responsibility to make it work even when it's getting low. Another mark of a, of, a, of, a, of a great pencil is that whenever it is, it is a mark. Even you as an individual, like the pencil you are, just like the pencil, whenever you are, whenever you are, learn to appreciate where you are at. Places are not, um, do not make people. It's the people who make the places. Wherever you are, leave a mark. And since you're going to leave a mark anyway, leave a positive mark. Leave a mark that can be remembered. Leave a mark of love. Leave a la mark of understanding. Leave a mark of uh, caring. Leave a mark of empathy. Leave a great mark wherever you want. And when you're able to leave a great mark in people's hearts, you leave a great mark in wherever you've been, People will always remember you in love and, and in faultness rather than you know, living with them in a way that you're able to it could be a disappointment or in a way that you, you don't leave a positive mark. Yes, learn to leave a mark wherever you are and a positive one at that. And at times, leaving a mark will not require so much from out there. It just requires your heart. You desire to leave that mark. You desire to work towards, you know, giving out yourself to others. Yes? Just to remind you that the most part of you will always be what is inside you. At times you want to think that those things that will help you are those that are out there. No. The things that, that, that are important and that that will enable you to live a great life are what is inside you. These are your convictions, your, your convictions, your faith convictions, your, your, your beliefs, your, your, what you really convicted about, your desires. What are you desiring? <clears throat> when you have great desires, you realize that you have enough energy to, to create those desires, not to create to achieve those desires. Yes, what is inside you is what will take you to the next level. You are ambitious. Yes, like when you were kids, everyone had ambitions. We all wanted to be doctors, we all wanted to be pilots, we all wanted to be 
doctors, pilots, lawyers, and all those ambitions that we have had when we were young. Yes, even as adults, even if the world might have uh, fought us and our ambitions might have been buried somewhere. Yes, what is inside you, those ambitions that are inside you, they are yours. Go for them. Don't feel uh, covered or uh, denied. Go for it, go for them and keep those ambitions alive. It doesn't matter what age you are. You can be kid to them and start living them. Yes, what is inside you is what will make you. You are intentions. Yes, we know there are so many people who intend to do good, but they don't do good. There are also other people who intend to do bad. It's only that it doesn't get manifested. Yes, have good intentions to do good and to do that what to be create a good a great monk in the world. And your character. Yes, character is everything. It is what is in you. Yeah, people may go far, but if their character is not right, it will return, I mean it will make them come back to where they belong. Work towards building your character, your character to be a wholesome person. And once you do this, you can be sure you'll always be great and you'll be able to leave a mark. Your belief, what you believe will always give, will always make you do what you do. Your belief will create the habits and uh, will create the habits. It will make you do what you do. So believe in the right thing. Question your beliefs. Question those some of the beliefs that you do because just you are told. Believe in the right things and check what is the truth versus what is false. Some things you believed all this time and they might not be true. Yes, question what you believe in. And once you keep questioning what you believe in, you'll be able to get the right, the right things to believe in. But keep your belief in God intact. Yes, just to remind you that you are special and you are in, and, and you're unique. You are inside of you is just a combination that is special. And no one else in this wide world have ever been like the way you are. So remain that special person, remain that special individual, and God will keep using you for that purpose. Yes, keep knowing that what is inside you is what really will really matter. It's not what is outside there. And what is inside you is what will attract what, what will, will happen around you. So keep the inside of you clean, keep the inside of you pure, and keep it holy, and keep it, you know, undiluted, and keep it unspecial so that it will attract the right things. Yeah, and we realize that we need uh, for the pencil to work, we need the paper to write on. Yes, the paper to write on is your life. Your life is that story, is that book that everyone else reads. And guess what? You just have that one life. Give it your very best. Live it in the best way possible. With, every, with whatever you have, give it your best. Learn to be grateful. Learn gratitude every other day. And once you write a beautiful line, at the end of it all, when the rest will be reading it in the eulogy or when they will be reading it wherever, people, you will have written something in the other people's heart and they will be able to remember you for long. And besides remembering you for long, at least God will be happy that he brought you to this world, that you have been able to, to be a good book that other people can read and admire and desire God all the more. So good, great people, let your life remain as a good book. Let it be a great paper. It's a canvas that you can paint on and you let let the let live the very best. Give yourself an opportunity to be the best fa fashion of yourself. Live the very best of your life and leave the rest to God. And you just realize just how blessed you are and how special you are. And since there's no one else like you in this wide world, please live your best life ever. Yes. We are grateful that you stayed with us this through this video and we invite you to subscribe to our channel if you have not. Like, share with your friends and invite your friends to keep sharing, I mean to keep uh, following us and we'll be able to keep giving you more of these videos. Thank you so much.